That's probably one of the best defensive options in the game. It's true. So if we're going to be completely honest, I can't wait to see how they're actually going to go about this matchup because I would like to say this is very neutral heavy only because, you know, ZSS has one of the great um, best tools in order to actually stop approaches. So something that, you know, might kind of conflict with Roy's Nair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I think, yeah, right there, that Zair. Okay, Zair and Jump Fair right there. They cut down Ro both Roy's dash and Jump Aerial, which is like the two main options Roy's going to go for. So Big O already like implementing really good tools, but Big O, you just need to get through once to get so much percent using Roy's like, chunky sword aerials. I mean, but speaking of chunky sword aerials, you're seeing a little bit of that coming into play here. Just trying to get a little bit of something. They've been playing primarily on stage for most of the part. Um, just trying to like get their you know combos going on, um, getting this nice ledge trap going on. We have ooh, just that nice fair swinging in through all this action and just swinging, retaliating back from ledge. We've seen a lot of situations where you know Big O has been off stage and they're kind of just like you know taking it slow, honestly, using probably one of the best tools to get off of ledge. And ooh, very early up, be gonna be able to live there. Yeah, um, ZSS is a um, character that you don't see die early too much because of how mobile they are, but actually really light. So if Big O can get like a read on like a flip kick or jump with back air, it can seal out the stock right now. Ooh, and very nice up smash. Not gonna take it just entirely yet. Ooh, but that, that Plasma Whip will absolutely take that first talk. We've seen a really good showing from kind of both of these players. They're kind of just playing the game, but we haven't really seen too much, you know, offstage interactions, especially considering how, you know, both these players, or both these characters, I'm sorry, can't actually really edge guard too well. You yeah, know? Well, especially Roy, like, going offstage against Zero Suit, you just, you cannot compete with her on like that. You don't have the air jumps or the like um, down B to really like contest her so you just want to kind of stay on the ledge and try to ledge trap I mean but not only that we also have tools that you know sometimes Roy might just be able to reverse the situation however it's not looking like this situation is getting reversed Big O is up two stocks right now and only at 117 percent gonna miss that grab and missing that grab will end in a stock from you know lags very nice but they also need to take this second stock right here because yeah. we could see the end of the game if they do not take it just a little bit soon. Big O's um, mm. entire game plan since the game started has been kind of putting things preemptively for hoping Lax will dash into them, you know, like jump fares or Zares hoping to catch Lax, Lax approaching. And that for the first stock was resulting in a pretty even game because Lax didn't feel the pressure to make a comeback. But now that Lax has to make a comeback, he's doing more reckless approaches and Big O is being able to extend the lead because of that. I mean, not only just the reckless approaches, like, it's honestly, at this point, what do you have to do? Just really catching wow. a lot of these jumps that in and going to end with the plasma, plasma whip. That is a strong plasma whip. That killed Roy. Sub 100, I'm pretty sure that was. Listen, you got to you gotta whip this tiny child. It, it's tiny only because Roy is essentially um, a skinny a skinny man. He is skinny. I mean, if he's, like, literally 15, so, like, Wait, you know. Oh, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> not me knowing <laughs> my fire emblem lore. Uh, I, I, that's what I, I think I know. But yeah, Roy. Um, also, his like dash animation. He like kind of like Naruto runs a bit. You know, he like dashes down really low to the ground. So it, he can be tough to like pin down in a similar aspect to Zero Suit. But um, regardless, Big O just a lot of shutting down airspace that entire set, and Lax was not able to get around it, but we're gonna see a switch to Pokemon Trainer. Ooh. This is another character that, um, just very strong on the tier list, you know, definitely can show, uh, and definitely Squirtle is really good because it is a very small frame for Zero Suit to hit. Absolutely, and the thing is, with Squirtle, you can't actually just run in and whatnot, because, you know, just running in like you did with Roy isn't gonna really work. We're already seeing how situations like that turn out, because Lax is already at 57%. And just speaking to Squirtle, Squirtle is probably one of the best people you should be actually using against ZSS, considering how you actually need to be able to avoid a lot of what ZSS does. You know, ZSS has Nair and probably Zare, which can be easily avoided by these two characters. And we're already seeing, you know, Lax on Charizard and just taking so much damage, already at 105%. It's looking like this 
you know, stage isn't really working out in their counterpick favor. Yeah, and at the start of this game, we both get to like 40. Lax gets big O on ledge and then switches to Ivysaur, and now Lax is at 120% and finally gets some mileage with Squirtle, only to switch back to Ivysaur. But um, the moral of the story being, Squirtle's really going to be your, your heavy hitter this matchup. So I'm not huge on these switchings from Lax because it's only net and so much less damage. Um, like almost all the damage done on Big O right now has been in Squirtle. I mean, honestly, for sure, and it's just like, they need to find some way in order to actually, you know, like, find kind of a, a, a normalcy for, you know, their Pokemon trainer, even though it's not, you know, like, their Roy. You can't just, like, switch nilly-nilly, as you, like, just said. It's not, it hasn't been working for them this whole time, and speaking of working, that out there was not going to take that stock. They definitely need to take, ooh, this stock certainly very soon, and not just throwing out these up smashes, because... That might just end in oh. more damage. Already that at could have been 70%. Stock right there, so it's a near flip kick on the Charizard. I mean, ooh, just speaking of kicks, we're getting a barrage of kicks just coming in from Big O, just trying to end Lax's life because it's just looking like they're just throwing out big hot boxes, hit hat boxes, hit, hit boxes, boxes. <laughs> and it's not working out. Just. Well, ooh, ooh, is I was that gonna say that was a bear, but fair ooh. also working, and that's gonna totally beat out Flare Blitz. This is looking really rough. Um, a bit of a saving grace right there. And now uh, I, I can't respect the Charizard staying because you kind of need some cheese right here. I mean, if anyone can cheese, it definitely has to be Charizard. This Charizard with the big tail is gonna actually work against them in getting that, you know, defensive air dodge, I mean, but defensive option right there into death, and we're sitting in a pretty sizable lead for Big O. And right here, um, finally, back to Squirtle. It's been a minute since we've seen him, um, but hopefully, like, like, right here, you can just get, you can play so much closer to Zero Suit and not have to worry about getting blown up with your tiny frame, so... I really think Squirtle's so, so vital in this matchup. Absolutely, and not only that, you can essentially just stay, you know, closer to the ground, and you don't really have to worry about much. Like, what is a ZSS Nair going to do to you if she can't even hit the Nair? Because every time you do, you just get a, 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 a skull just right in your face. Yeah, it's it's really tough to pin down Squirtle. Yeah, for and sure. This Ivysaur finally knocking that trap right there, using a sneaky up B. Okay, but ooh, ooh. gonna get. Ooh. Is that it? Uh, no, that was, definitely not with good yeah. That was very nice though. Um, the you know, like tracking coming in from Big O, but that's not gonna take it just yet. And it's looking like you know, Lax is on their last legs right here. They need to just show a little bit more life. If they actually want to take this set. Ooh. Gonna miss ooh. that up smash. Yeah, but, you really can't afford to drop that punish if you're Lax, because. You need everything you can get. And that Plasma Whip, what a good move. <laughs> I mean, for real. Okay. And Big O, winning for people with the letter O in their tag. Period. Winning for people who went to Brooklyn Technical High School. Period. Um, this is a historic day at Xeno, um, Period. to say the least. Listen, you got to get your prayers in so that you can thrive in the house of 3,000. <laughs> uh -huh. oh.